We can continue on how we can merge two different objects together. For that, I already created some different boxes as we can see. So if I type solid union, I can connect them into one object. If I want to take the intersection of these two objects, I can type solid intersection and we just see that. I'm only taking the intersection area of them. Or if I want to cut one object from the other and take the difference between them, I can type solid difference and as a result, I have one object also. And here we can see how the intersection point is changing when I play with the sizes of these boxes. If I make one object bigger than the other, I will be having only the geometry when we merge these two. So let's continue by copying one of these shapes. Because I want to show you how we can divide one geometry multiple times at a time. For that, I'm going to take one edge of this rectangle. I need to type dbrep to take the command called deconstruction brep. And let's preview off some of the commands to avoid the overlapping of the geometry. Now, if I type list item, I can list one of the edges by taking the related output of the dbrep command. Note that every single edge corresponds to a number. So if I use a number slider, I can select an edge that I want to use as a base. From here, if I type divide curve, I'm dividing this edge some certain times. Let's type 5 to divide it into 5 separate curves. Let's continue by creating some object onto the divided curve ends. So I'm going to move these points along the z-axis. After using the move command, I can type line to create a line based on these two points. Here it's important to note that these lines are connected to the surface of the object that we want to divide. It's only possible to trim or merge two objects when they intersect. So let's continue by creating an object from this line. I can use extrude command to offset the line on the x-axis and create a surface. I can connect it to a number slider to define the width. I copy the extrude command again to create 3D objects based on these surfaces. So I can use them as cutters to divide the base object. I can type solid difference again to connect them to the object to be subtracted from as well as the cutters. Here I can change the size of the cutters by using the number slider. Same way I can take the intersection area of these objects by using solid intersection command. Let's connect the related object to this command. I can play again with the dimension of the cutters. There we have the intersection as a result. And here we see again the differences between these two commands. So previously, I showed you some point-based rectangles. 
I'm only going to copy and paste these points to create a new shape. So I'm creating a line based on these two points. Then I'm going to extrude this line as here we are seeing. I want to create another surface that connects one edge of this object. Therefore, I tap Deconstruct Prep again and take the edge that I want to build the surface next to it. So let's use Extrude command again and connect it to the X unit. Now I'm going to type join and select rep join command to connect two objects onto one input. I need to keep pressing shift. Then here we need to right click and select flatten to make it one merge object. If I show what I mean, I can back this output. And we see that the objects are merged. So if I turn off flattened, I will have two separate objects after baking. So flatten is needed for this command to work properly. I show you another way that is useful to know. Let's copy and paste the base script once again. I will use populate geometry command to create some points on the surface. Let's reduce the numbers on it. Now I can create some boxes on these points. And I can use number sliders to connect XYZ component. After creating this, I can preview off the unnecessary commands. And to subtract them, I use split prep multiple commands. All split objects are given in one output. Then I can use list item again to take the subtracted objects. And in any time, we can play with the dimension of the cutters in this way. Finally, I want to show you how we can divide one curve based on some desired length. I will copy and paste the same script to take one edge as a curve base. Let's type divide length and connect the command to the curve as well as the number slider to take as distance between the regions. And I can just take this point as base to create some cutters such as center box. So finally, I'm going to type split with breaths. And in this case, my curve will be split with these cutters. And I again need to connect them to the list item to sort the divided curve segments. Thank you.